April 2, 1792, the Coinage Act was passed, authorizing the United States to have its own coinage. The conditions at the early mint were primitive. Machinery was horsepowered and equipment came from blacksmith shops. David Rittenhouse was appointed as the first mint director by President Washington, and the copper dies were made for the very first 1794 silver dollar. This silver dollar was reunited in December with the copper coin that now resides in the National Numismatic Collection at the Smithsonian Institute. Steve Contursi of Rickwind Wholesalers is the current custodian of this true American treasure. Well, when I went to view the collection, um, the $17.94 was one of the coins I was most excited about seeing. And when I first looked at the coin, uh, I noticed right from the start that it was definitely different than any other $17.94 I've ever seen. The strike was absolutely sharply struck. The fields front and back were fully proof-like. And one of the most unusual characteristics about this coin is that it was extremely well struck on the left side of the coin, on the obverse, which is normally and most coins that I've seen of this date have been very, very weakly struck and you cannot even see the stars. This means that this coin was definitely struck before the dies were misaligned and that made me start thinking in the direction that this could very well be the first silver dollar ever struck by our country. Uh, I'm David Hall, I'm the president and founder of Professional Coin Grading Service. We're the world's largest third-party grading service, grading about 90,000 coins a month. One of the nice things about being involved with PCGS is we see the world's finest coins. And because we see the world's finest coins, it's not often that I can get personally excited about a coin, but the Neil Carter $17.94 is one of the best coins, one of the most important coins. Uh, that it certainly has ever been on premise at PCGS and it's a you know, total thrill to grade it and talk about it. What makes the Neil Carter specimen of the $17.94 so special is the fact that its state of preservation is m miraculous to say the least. This coin looks as if it came off uh, the press, so to speak, yesterday. $17.94 were made in extremely limited quantities. Um, they had trouble getting silver bullion at the time. The mint had just opened 18 months or so earlier. It, the methods of manufacture were pretty crude, and therefore the, the coins that were minted uh, had a tendency to have be weakly struck, uh, have various planchet problems. And looking at the Neil Carter specimen of the $17.94 dollar, uh, the details uh, are so vivid. Every little um, breast feather is you know, fully evident. The, the strike is so sharp. Uh, it leads me to believe that this quite possibly could have been the very first impression off of the die. You often see some uh, deterioration in the detail. As, as the dyes get get worn out, but this the detail is so strong on the Neil Carter coin uh, that you, you could easily surmise that it is probably the first coin uh, struck uh, in 1794, the first silver dollar, and therefore the first United States silver dollar.
Well, I'm very excited about owning this coin. I mean, I, I look at it every day and I, I realize the importance, the historical significance of the coin. Uh, it's the, the birth of our nation, the birth of our economy. Uh, the coin has so much meaning and symbolism to me that uh, it, it's mind-boggling uh, what enjoyment this coin brings me every day just to look at it. Um, that's how I feel about owning this coin.